that you died on the cross for our sins and that you died for a purpose and that you were raised to life three days later. We thank you, Jesus, that you will set us free from our sins if we would only come to you and ask you and expect you to transform lives. We pray tonight, Lord Jesus, for your spirit to move in this place in a mighty way as we worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. The first clip is pretty self-explanatory, so maybe let's just go ahead with it. They are spreading the word of God, but they've run into a roadblock at City Hall. A Calvary Street Church has been preaching to the homeless, but they don't have a permit, and that's a problem. The pastor says he doesn't want to break the bylaw, but vows to go ahead with a Sunday sermon regardless. As Gary Bobrovitz reports, if that happens, the church and its minister could face fines, even jail time. On your confession of faith, we baptize in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baptism in the Bow River and Sunday sermons. It's all part of the street church, which preaches to the homeless in this park outside the drop-in center downtown to help improve their lives. We feed them, we clothe them, and we bring the message of hope to them. That's what we do, nothing more. But the city of Calgary has a problem with spreading God's word. Technically, it's illegal because it's being done in a public park. For that, you need permission and paper. In this case, anybody engaged in activity to gather a crowd or audience or use of amplified equipment needs the permission of the director of parks. But the homeless say they need the service and vow to show up this Sunday. I'll be here. Yeah, I'm here every day. And what if the city tries to stop the service? I'll be here. Then I'm going to stand okay. up and I'm going to bring all my friends, stand all up. my brothers and sisters. I'm going to bring them all and we're going to fight for our rights. If the street church preaches this weekend without the required permits, there are going to be repercussions. They could be charged. And fined? Fined, yeah. How much? Starts at 100. We believe that God is with, is with us and he will continue to be with us no matter what happens. But touch them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Gary Bobovitz is live in the park by the drop-in center downtown tonight. And Gary, the church appears pretty adamant that it will yep. go ahead with the events this weekend. Linda, the service is going to be here 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon. The church leaders say they're prepared for any punishment the city has for them or the ministry. And we will also be here, so we'll bring you the story Sunday night on Global News. One other point, the pastor says he has filled out all the paperwork for the permit, but he won't actually be submitting it until Monday and the approval process could take several weeks. Linda, Tony. Thanks, Gary. And we want to know what you think about this situation. On our web survey tonight, we're asking, should the city allow the street church ministry to hold services in a city park? To vote, go to Canada.com slash Calgary. Scroll down and look for the survey on the right-hand side of the page. We'll have results later on Global News. Our Calgary street ministry is running into some problems with the city. Street Church offers a Sunday morning service in a park across from the drop-in center. Dozens of homeless people claim it has changed their lives after years of drugs, alcohol, and prostitution. But the church doesn't have a permit to use the park, and the service violates a city bylaw. Calgary's chief bylaw officer says if the church holds a service this Sunday without permission, it will face penalties. I expect they will preach. By then, I should have heard what the intent of the director of parks is, and then... We'll take direction from him as to what he wants us to do from an enforcement perspective. And if they're in violation, what could happen to them? They could be charged. Pastor Arthur Paolo says he is prepared to pay the fine and even go to jail to keep helping the homeless. And we want to know what you think about his situation. On our web survey, we're asking, should the city allow the street church ministry to hold services in a city park? Vote at Canada.com slash Calgary. You can find our survey on the right-hand side of the page, and we'll have some results at 629. The media caught wind of these things, and God has orchestrated everything because the bylaw states that we can't be there. That's what the bylaw is, is that we can't be there. So this was just really cool. I don't know if that's the proper term or not, but it's just really cool that this would get on TV and that they would do a web poll. And what do you think the people of Calgary think about this type of thing? What do you think the people of Calgary think about the Word of God going out? You know, as we say, as we say down there on Sundays, crack cocaine, prostitution, and crime happens on Saturdays. But in that park, the Word of God goes out on Sundays, and we feel that's a good thing. 
So let's play the let's play the second part of the film. The city has given its blessing to a street church that lends a helping hand to the homeless. Bless their families, bless their children. Reverend Arter Pulowski was preaching in the park across from the drop-in center today, this time with the city's permission. Dozens of homeless people claim his ministry has changed their lives after years of drugs, alcohol, and prostitution. But the church didn't have a permit to use the park for a public gathering, violating a city bylaw. However, the city's parks director issued a permit this weekend, allowing Pulowski to continue his Sunday services. Amen. Amen. And so we press on. You know, as the Word of God says, we have the ministry of what Christ did on the cross to take to the nations. That's our ministry. Paul talks about it. He says, Jesus Christ, God Himself in the flesh on the cross, was God reconciling Himself to His creation. Amen. And that's our ministry. That's our ministry. If, you're, if you belong to the body of Christ, if you have been saved from your sins, if you have asked Jesus Christ to come into your life, that's your ministry. Whether it's a prayer ministry, a child's ministry, or a frontline ministry. This is pretty nasty, frontline. It's pretty nasty stuff. People get shocked in the frontline ministry. That's our ministry. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less than to, than to further the ministry that Christ has given us. Amen? Tonight, we're going to watch the DVD now. It's just over an hour long, so get comfortable. You're not here by accident. We thank God for every one of you that are here for whatever reason. But the challenge tonight is just not to watch this, of course, and to again separate yourself from this ministry, saying this is a different ministry than I'm involved in. That's not true. We're part of your team. I'm your brother. <laughs> whether you like it or not, I'm your brother. And this is a ministry of Christ, which is frontline. Some of you tonight maybe, maybe wonder if God does miracles anymore. Some of you may wonder whether God does miracles in Calgary downtown anymore. Tonight we just challenge you to listen to the Holy Spirit tonight as, as you watch him and, and just see some of the stuff that God is doing. Not that we're doing. You'll notice by the filming, Steven Spielberg had nothing to do with this. It is just the work of the Holy Spirit, and we're so excited for what He's going to do here tonight. So my challenge again, respond to Jesus tonight. God's going to speak to every one of us tonight. Every one of us that's holding on just a little bit, a little bit of control maybe. Something in our lives that says, I can't do that. I can't, I can't take any more steps. I don't know what the next step is. God's going to speak to every one of you tonight. Our prayer is that every one of us responds in Jesus' name. Amen.